you're telling me you're a hundred percent certain that CBS News, CBS News Corporation, National, staged a fake event. They faked the news. They faked the reality and broadcasted that to all of their audience last Friday on CBS This Morning. 100%, absolutely. And, uh, apparently, the news crew wanted more people in the line because they knew it was scheduled. Well, we knew they were coming. We had no clue that we were going to have to, like, do fake patients. Gotcha. Did she tell you guys, like, hey, you're not actually getting tested? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she did. She just, she just, well, just to make it look busy. Because they were right there That's crazy. Well, I didn't see you guys do the swab at all. I just saw you talking yeah. with them. And then I was talking with you the other girl. Yeah. There were a couple of real patients, which made it worse. They probably just wanted to look busy. <laughs> it's my guess. I'm James O'Keefe, standing outside CBS News corporate headquarters in Midtown Manhattan in New York City. An insider has come to us from a Grand Rapids Medical Center, and they claim that CBS News created a fake COVID testing line, taking away doctors and medical personnel away from treating patients just to create a fake staged event for CBS News and their national morning show. This is an explosive story involving an insider who recorded things from his colleagues. Check this out. So when this event occurred, where did you work? Uh, I worked at Sherry Health. Sherry Health is? It's a medical facility. Um, it's Sherry Health Heart of the City is the full name of it. Um, and when I came into work that day, uh, the news crew was there. I was kind of asking around what happened. Um, and they were just letting me know that there's news there for the testing. What did you see happen that, uh, that you're claiming is, is fake, fake news about this? Well, um, when I was over there and the, the line was coming through, um, a lot of them were just kind of driving up and not really getting tested at all. Um, they were just talking with the testers. So I, I was asking what, you know, what's going on with the tests. And that's when they told me that, you know, majority of the line is, is from employees um, at Cherry Health. Um, so, yeah. The people in the line were, were not people being tested, but they were employees pretending to be patients? Correct, yep. Why would they do that? Um, I think it's a little bit of a benefit for both parties. Um, I do know Cherry Health is struggling a little bit financially. Um, they're a nonprofit, so they get a lot of their money from donors or um, grants. Um, so it just makes them look productive. And then on the side of the news, um, you know, they, they want to make the line appear bigger than it is just, just for their reporting purposes to show that, you know, this is a big deal, um, that people are getting tested in massive numbers. So we do have enough testing kits, but we're really short um, on gowns. We're also short on N95 masks. We cannot expand further without any additional personal protective equipment. They also can't expand testing because of recent staffing cuts. Cherry Health has laid off about 25% of our staff. Wow, and at a time like this. Exactly. The governor says she may further open the economy region by region if the data shows it's safe. Now, putting Michigan back to work won't make up for the roughly $3 billion the state estimates it'll lose because of the pandemic. It always seems to get go back to the testing. Thank you very much. That was Adriana Diaz reporting. So they were they were they were st almost staging a a fake fake news event. Is that what you're telling me? Correct. Yes. Now the segment aired on CBS News this morning with host Gail King, a nationally distributed broadcast seen by millions of people every morning. King says it's just one of many on COVID testing. Only six states have reported more cases than Michigan, but fewer than two percent of its people have been tested for the virus. In our series on the state of coronavirus testing, Adriana Diaz shows how Michigan is trying to improve a system that has failed some of its people. But the governor says testing above all else will help determine when to fully reopen. And uh, apparently the news crew wanted more people in the line. 
because they knew it was scheduled. So when did you find out on uh, Monday that it was that it wasn't real people, or not real people, but that it was employees? Um, that long ass line that we had. Yeah. And then the, when I went to go grab the, the bag with the test tube in it, that's when they told me, and I was like, figures, because we see the schedule ahead. Oh, so no one told you, like, in advance? It was just kind of like, like right there. you were just like, why is this line so long? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so she's looking for volunteers to go out and just drive through the tent. Gotcha. And did she tell you guys, like, hey, you're not actually getting tested? Yeah. Just, oh. Yeah, yeah, she did. She just, she just well, just to make it look busy for the meals because they were right there. That's crazy. How did you guys feel on Monday, like, what, with the with the cars? I mean, it's just annoying because we could have done other stuff, you know? Right. But, smile and nod. <laughs> smile yeah. and nod. Because when I was talking to you guys that day, it sounded like you guys were a little frustrated, but... Yeah. And no one, no one told, like, prepped you guys ahead of time? Well, we knew they were, they were coming. We had no clue that we were going to have to, like, do face patients. How did the medical workers and the colleagues at the clinic feel about this staged event? A lot of them were upset about it, um, at least the ones that knew. Not everyone knew about it. I, I brought it up to a couple people and they were actually surprised um, when I told them. Um, but the ones that knew doing the testing, um, they weren't not happy about that. Um, and then the ones that were in the line, uh, they seemed kind of um, indifferent to it. They just figured it was just another day on the job. Well, I didn't see you guys had do the swab at all. I just saw you talking yeah. with them, and then I was talking with we the other girl. We yeah. There were a couple of real patients, which made it worse. Because then they had to wait longer. Yeah. It was just confusing and like chaos. Jeez. I've never experienced something like that. No. So, like crazy. Do you think she did it on her own? I don't know. I think it was, you know, like everybody up there. Because, you know, they're coming out with all these bright ideas. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, like, okay. Yeah. Because I also have told me that they do stuff like that all the time to make their, their brand and image look good because it's a non-profit. Yeah, because I've been, uh, it's like, I've seen Tosh on the news already. Mm -hmm. uh, already. And then she came, she came and she told us when she came, she was, oh, the news are going to be here, you know. Make sure, you know, they get tested and she told us, like, what to tell them if they weren't a mask. To make sure, you know, ask them question by question and if they didn't have a mask, they have a mask. Okay. I was talking with uh, Maria and she was telling me that it was um, Glenda Walker and Jody that were going around getting at, uh, asking the screeners for volunteers. Oh, really? To come into the line. Yeah, they probably just wanted it to look busy. <laughs> it's my guess. But the governor says testing above all else will help determine when to fully reopen. So, is is this the the fake line? Yes. Yep. That's it. So, so the people in the cars are are not patients. Majority of them, I do know um, from talking with the testers that that one one of them, one or two of them, uh, were real patients, which added to their frustration because this line sat there for a while, uh, so they could organize the shot. So they. They've made a, a, a line of cars with, with, with medical personnel on the cars as opposed to patients. Correct. And the viewer does not know that. Correct. And these folks here were, were, were pretending to treat some of these medical personnel instead of real patients? Yes. Just, just for CBS this morning? Yes. Wow. And when you witnessed this, what did you think? What occurred to you? Um, well, you know, the, the first thing that went through my head is just like, you know, you always hear about it, and it's completely different when you actually see it happening. Um, I kind of felt a pit in my stomach a little bit. I was a little bit disgusted with, with everything going on. So um, I, I just, you know, a lot was going through my head, and when I got off work, you know, the first, you, you guys were the first people I called to uh, tell you about it. How did you know to call us or Project Veritas? Um, 
So, I, I've watched a couple of your videos in the past. Um, some YouTubers that I follow have mentioned, have name dropped the uh, Project Veritas before. So, um, I checked you guys out and then I just thought, you know, there's got to be a way to report to you guys. So, I went to the website and it was pretty easy to follow because I saw that there was the, uh, I think it said submit a tip. Mm -hmm. So, I just went on that and I figured the easiest way would just be to call and leave a voicemail. What would you say to someone else out there who, as a, at a clinic or a lab or a hospital, or even at a network who sees something similar to what you've seen? Um, I'd say, you know, I understand that you'd be worried about losing your job, but like I said, it's all about holding people accountable. And, uh, you know, you, you shouldn't be afraid to come out and, and say what's happening. You shouldn't, be able, you shouldn't be afraid to say the truth um, because in the end, you know, the truth always wins. Gail King is a veteran journalist at CBS News with over 40 years of experience under her belt. We'd like to hear from Gail King about what her reaction is to this fake and staged COVID testing line that aired on CBS News Morning Show last Friday, May 1st, in front of millions of people. We'd like to hear from King and Adriana Diaz to see what they have to say for themselves. Did they know about the fake staged COVID testing line? Again, in a time of crisis, we have to be able to trust these institutions. Who is going to hold them accountable? They have no self-policing mechanism. Besides, these brave Project Veritas insiders.